But up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. All right, so here he is, one of the better ground and pound guys we have in the sport here at present. There's just an efficiency and an accuracy to the way he approaches the ground strikes. No wasted motion out of this guy. Oh, it's, it's an art form, John. It's the way that he goes at his opponents, and the moment they hit the mat, he secures them. Oh, it's on. He doesn't rush. He takes his time. He knows that it does not take much in order to finish a fight. So he'll find his posture. You can't, he doesn't waste time with his head in the chest just punching. He finds posture. Once he finds posture, he can get momentum to land the big strikes, then he moves position. And then he goes and he finds another strike. Before long, you see his opponent face swelling. You see the eyes all split open and beat. It's truly, truly amazing to watch him and watch his approach to ground and pound. And great cardio allows him to stay heavy. We've seen a lot of fighters just struggle to buck him off. We'll see how it goes tonight. All right, here he is for my money. Might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division. A true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 23 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois. Below, remember the name, Muhammad. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Hobbs and Bors Chibayev! All right, give me the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Oh, big elbow. Oh! Couple of chins here being tested early. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big, powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. 
All right, so there it is, the early takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was going to try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so just now. During their fight camp, they made a checklist. And they checked off the most important part of the fight, getting an early takedown. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable. Now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Oh, nice job using it. Nicely done. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop us. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, and try to escape his very, very dangerous position. Oh, nice. He should be defending right now. And he's out. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, right to the mount. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. He's to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the floor. He might have got him with the choke. With the arm the moment he dropped his chest, it dropped all of his weight on his opponent's neck and put him to sleep. Jiu-Jitsu practitioners around the world celebrating the effort of that young man tonight. He's done, he's done. <laughs> yeah, that's about as good as it gets with that choke. And if you're not willing to tap out as he was not, then you're going to go to sleep. And that's exactly what happened. A beautiful setup and even better technique to get the finish to put him out cold. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotis will stop with this contest at 3 minutes, 37 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke, Hobbs and Bors All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight. But he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.